Hello everyone, in this video I will be introducing you to Grokspot, a very lightweight and simple tool for you to use to allow your student to reflect on what you have taught them in class or even to allow them to have richer and deeper discussion. Normally if you do discussion, you can use tools like the forum in your learning management system but because it's threaded and uh, you need time to read through and uh, the prompt may not be as clear as it's shown to your students so you can use this tool to kind of structure the discussion and the best thing is it comes with some features that will allow you to give uh, immediate or maybe uh, timely feedback to your students so all you have to do is go to grokspot.org and click sign up you'll be prompted to kind of select your account type whether you're a student or teacher so for your case you, you sign up as a teacher so you can sign up with your Google account or you can sign up manually so for student you ask them to do the same but they sign in as a uh, sign up as a student <clears throat> all right once you have uh, signed up you just log in so once you have logged in by right it's empty but now I have one sample here you can see this is my prompt assigned to the group and uh, this is the feedback but before you can even do this you need to create your group in my case, I have already created one group, uh, this group, and then this is the codes. So you need to give the code to your students when they sign up so that they can join your uh, your group immediately. Like now I have one sample here, one of my students joined uh, for this code. So if you need to create more group, you just add group. And let's say I have another one, just a sample then each group will have its unique code which is very simple so you just give this code to your students so once they are in the group like in this case if I were to go back to my dashboard you will see that this group is empty I have not uh, I have shown nothing so what you need to do now is you you need to create prompts or if you would like to get some inspiration you can browse prom uh, prompts so if you are browsing you select your audience let's say students and then you can decide like uh, what type of uh, topic or subject that you want to ask let's say general reflection then there, these are the, some samples that you can uh, use you can see there are quite a lot of useful prompts for you to use so let's say I use this one and this is the stem and you can also set criteria like uh, make prompt private if you want to remove 280 character limit uh, include student confidence and measure if you want to measure their confidence and all that now i find this useful because like normally if you do it for them students tend to ignore your instruction on the word limit and they tend to write on and on and with the 220 character limit they are kind of like responding you like a tweet right in a short and precise manner but if you would love them to write longer then you have to tick this one so that they can write longer and um, you can also assign prompt to multiple group in this case i will assign only to one group and you can see here uh, i have assigned to my uh, uh, this group right so what happened is student will come in and they will have to uh, how to put it so they will have to come in and they will see your your prompt right so if i were to go to my group just now right i will show you how it looks like in the in the student's view so this is the student's view so you can see that this is my prom and this is the first response that i get from this student so there are other features you can see group my thinking this is where the student when they when they key in they can actually indicate you know and they can also indicate the confidence level like how confident are they with the topic that you are asking them or with this question that you're asking them and uh, once they save you can also get add reactions right you can also reply so it's very threaded for example i mean this is this is self-replying but from your view you can also uh, reply uh, so the student can also see other students feedback and and, and all that so it, it, it helps them to be more structured in a way right so if you go back to your view you can see all this insight right the confidence level and all that you can also see the student word frequency i find this very useful as well so when i when I ask the question about fixed mindset, for example, the word adapt tend to be uh, widely used, right? So, I'm, of course, there's only one, but if you have more, then this will be a very useful insight. And it helps you give, uh, you know, a more structured and more systematic manner in controlling reflection or even discussion. So, like now I can discuss, uh, can you elaborate further, for example? OK, 
Okay, so if I were to enter, then the student will be able to get it, and then the student will see and try to try to respond. And you can see, it's very social media like uh, in a way. So it really gives that sense of familiarity to your students, and they will feel more likely to respond because it feels, uh, you know, more engaging than the typical forum format with a long thread that that they can. They can't even track uh, their feedback or they can't even track the peers' uh, responses. Alright, so if you want to create your own prompt, just create your own prompt. Uh, you can create your own prompt here. Just type in the question, the stem if you want to, and then just assign to a very simple, very straightforward, and uh, I find it very useful. So you can also filter by user and all that. And yeah, and that's it. And if you would like to upgrade, you can just use the coupon here to upgrade, as you can see here. And it uh, the the free one allows you to have five prompts. Of course, you can always re repeat the use the same prompt for your different group. But if you like, you can just delete uh, or uh, you know sign up for an upgrade, right? And lastly, before I end, this will be the reporting part where you will you'll be able to see the reporting of your question or your prompt and also the user report. All right, so. Do try it out. Growthspot to me is very useful, very handy when it comes to uh, fostering discussion and deeper reflection. You can use it for reflection, right? So yeah, happy trying.